Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome back to my blog, .stampwithelaine.com. Today I'm going to just uh, be sharing with you a little tip on how to cut a, a label out of the window frames collection from Stamping Up. Now as you know these are nesting dies and um, the way I do um, number my, my frames is that I start from the middle, um, the f number one being the smallest frame and then I work my outwards uh, to number six being the largest. So there are six frames in all. When you cut the frames, um, if you uh, make sure that you cut it in a square, um, it means that you don't get any waste. Not only do you have a mat for your project, but you also end up with a, a frame that you can put on your card base or and you can also make a label so the label can go this way or it can go that way um, actually that looks like a Chinese lantern doesn't it so let me show you how now this one first we need our trimmer and this one is the Uh, frame number five I've already cut one side but as you can see I didn't cut it very well and so there's still a ridge now to prevent you, to, to make sure that you're cutting it cleanly let me show you the trimmer now you can see the groove here where your blade goes now on the track you you want to butt up your cut the window frame on the left hand side of the track rather than the right so that has to be flush with that so your blade will cut cleanly down the cardstock okay if you don't then you will come up with a little nook like that and it, it's not straight so let's try that so I'm butting it up to the left hand side, left hand side, and then I have a perfectly straight edge. Another way you can do it is by measuring the distance between the cutting edge here and the cutting edge there. So what you're doing is you're just cutting strips of paper that will fit snugly into those um, four corners which means you don't have to cut, cut it like I did just now from the whole frame. So let's take the number two frame, so that's the second smallest, and that's the effect we want to achieve. So here's the strip of paper. So the distance between that is 4.2 centimeters or 1 and 11 sixteenths of an inch. So you see how that fits snugly in between the, those four corners. So next thing you need is your uh, magnetic platform, your base cutting plate, and this time you place your um, die with the cutting edge face up and the reason for that is so that you can see where you're placing your cardstock. You make sure that that's central Then you place your top cutting plate on top and then you're ready to run it through the big shot. I then took um, a piece of uh, Whisper White and I actually traced the inside uh, of each frame and then I wrote the measurements down uh, of the width the width between there and there um, and I numbered the size of the frame and then I wrote down the measurements in here both in inches and centimeters and then you can slip that into your um, 
window frame that's envelope or however you store them so that you've got a reference. I also experimented and I cut uh, just by cutting the rounded edges off I came up with another frame um, so you know you've got four ways of doing um, labels with the window frames collection um, I will have the measurements on my blog um, I hope you enjoyed today's tip and come back for more inspiration next time. Thanks for watching.